it's a very interesting question on linear equations just x plus mod y is 8 mod x plus y is 6 how many pairs of x comma y satisfy these two equations right. it's like a very simple question instead of just having x and y we have x plus mod y and mod x plus y it's a tricky question not that easy the mod completely changes the dynamic of the question let's look at what this modulus means modulus of a number can never be negative so the number can be negative but right. simply put modulus of x cannot be less than 0 modulus of 3 is 3 modulus of minus 3 is also 3 modulus of a number cannot be negative whatever be the magnitude that gets returned as the modulus of the number defined differently modulus of a is a when a is positive modulus of a is minus of a when a is negative so modulus of minus 3 is minus of minus 3 which becomes plus 3 when a is 0 mod a a minus a they are all 0 so this is how we would define a function called as modulus so if we take the first line x plus mod y equal to 8 but we take this equation i can say i can break this into two lines one when y is positive one when y is negative let's say y is positive then this practically becomes x plus y equals 8 so when y is positive this equation becomes x plus y equals 8 or y equals 8 minus x when y is negative this becomes x minus y equals 8 or y equals x minus 8 i'm defining this straight line or this equation need, need not be a straight line it is not a straight line it's a combination of straight lines this equation i'm break it, breaking it into two equations one when y is positive and one when y is negative the same thing i can do for the second equation as well but before that keep one eye on this x plus mod y is 8 so modulus of y has to be greater than or equal to 0 that means this function this diagram this equation is clearly defined only when x is less than or equal to 8 if x is say 9 9 plus mod y equal to 8 is just not feasible mod y is positive so something plus a positive number is 8 Th that means that something cannot be 8 or more it can be 8 it cannot be more than 8 a number more than 8 plus a positive number cannot be equal to 8 mod y cannot be negative therefore x is less than or equal to 8 so this entire equation is defined only when x is less than or equal to 8 so if i had to break this down x plus mod y equals weight is y equals 8 minus x when x is when y is positive it is y equals x minus 8 when y is negative this whole thing is defined only when x is less than or equal to 8 let's do the same thing for the second equation second equation is mod x plus y equals 6 this becomes y equals 6 minus x when x is positive it is 6 plus x when x is negative I'm doing the same thing when x is positive i substitute mod x as x when x is negative i substitute mod x as minus x and again mod x is always positive so the entire equation is defined only when y is less than or equal to 6 y cannot be greater than 6 the moment y becomes greater than 6 mod x will have to be negative which is impossible so mod x plus y equal to 6 gets broken as two equations 6 minus x when x is positive 6 plus x when x is negative under the condition that y cannot be greater than 6 now i have to get the solution of this essentially the first equation got broken as two equations second one got broken as two equations if i find points of intersection or if i solve this pair which is this pair i am through if i can find point of intersection of 1 and 3 1 and 4 1 and 3 1 and 4 and then i do 2 and 3 2 and 4 these points of intersection will give me the solution all i need to do is solve for these pairs validate whether the conditions are working and i'm through now when we solve this you realize that equation 1 and equation 3 this is of the form y is 8 minus x this is 6 minus x they have the same slope uh, they have different intercepts slope is same or they cannot intersect S equation 2 and equation 3 this is y is x minus 8 this is y is x plus 6 these two have the same slope 1 and 3 have the same slope 2 and 4 have the same slope so straight away we realize that equations 1 and 3 represent parallel lines 2 and 4 represent parallel lines 
So 1 and 3 are parallel, 2 and 4 are parallel. So if I have to find intersections, I have to find intersection between 1 and 4 and 2 and 3. So I don't have 4 pairs of points, I have only 2 pairs. Now I just have 2 pairs, let me validate this. Let me take 1 and 4 and see what solution I get. Y is 8 minus X, Y is also 6 plus X. If I solve this, if I add these 2, I get 2Y equals 14 or y equals 7. I have y is 7, that means x which is y minus 6 or 8 minus y, x should be 1. So 7 comma 1 works here. y is 7 and 8 minus 1, 7 is also 6 plus 1. But remember, this second equation is defined only when x is negative. So here x cannot be plus 1. So although, even though this looks like these two have a solution, it doesn't work because the second equation is not valid when x is positive. So clearly this point of intersection is also phantom. This also does not exist. So I'm down to only one possibility solving for lines two and three. Now again, I solve for this. I can add these two. I get two y equals, again, I get two y equals seven. I solve for this. I, if I add these two, I get 2y is minus 2, sorry, I get 2 times y, x and minus x gets cancelled, 2y is minus 2 or y equals minus 1. I substitute y equals minus 1, I get x equals 7. So x is positive, y is negative. Here y is negative, x has to be positive. The conditions are satisfied. So both these equations are valid in the range that I get by solving for them. So when x is 7 and y is minus 1, this equation holds good and so does this one. So x equal to 7, y equal to minus 1 is a solution that satisfies both sets of equations at the modulus level as well. So very good question. We have to eliminate step by step and then drill down. So x is 7, y is minus 1 works for this. Just try to do the whole question with, with diagrams. So mod x plus y equals 6. That means if for this solution, if y is some value exist, then for the same question, x being plus or minus will work or put differently if i say i substitute x y equal to 4 x is mod x is equal to 2 plus 2 and minus 2 will work or this equation is a set of lines symmetric about the y-axis so this is mod x plus y equal to 6 this is also mod x plus y equal to 6. so this is the equation described this is a set of two lines described by mod x plus y equal to 6. same idea x plus mod y equal to 8 if I substitute x equal to 4, mod y is 4, plus 4 and minus 4 will work. So when x is 4, y can be plus 4 or minus 4. This is an equation symmetric about the x-axis. So I have to find points of intersection between these two equations. This is the point of intersection here, this point, which is nothing but 7 comma minus 1. So x equal to 7, y equal to minus 1 satisfies both equations. Obviously, drawing this diagram is tricky. I'm not going to solve by drawing the diagram. But if I have a sense of the diagram, if I can sense that one is symmetric about the x-axis, the other is symmetric about the y-axis, then I get a feel for the question. Probably the algebraic method works well, but drawing this diagram helps us visualize the solution much better. So x equal to 7, y equal to minus 1 works. And that is nothing but the point of intersection of these two systems of equations mod x plus y equal to 6 gives us two straight lines x plus mod y equal to 8 gives us two straight lines defined in different regions and the point of intersection is 7 comma minus 1.